What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Burleson, Texas at Palm Harbor Homes and we're getting ready to check out the Horizon. This is a super sweet double wide. I absolutely love the colors on it. That baby blue and brown with the white trim. Whoo, that gets me every single time. In terms of the specs, this is a three bedroom, two bath home sitting inside of approximately 1,440 square feet. Now, this home does also come in a couple different varieties. So if you wanted a fourth bedroom, uh, you could do that. If you wanted to keep the three bedrooms, you could uh, do that, but then also have a game room or family room. So like I said, a couple different options. Uh, this one in particular though, the three bedroom by itself is going to start you off at approximately $140,000. Though of course that price may vary depending on your different variation that you choose. Anyway, with that though, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I hope you're ready to get into a beautiful home. And with that, if you want any more information on this home before we get inside, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. Alrighty, another farmhousey type home. Love that. But this is the view when you do first walk in. I'll go ahead and turn you around real quick. Let's check out the front door. I love this color flooring, like super nice. Almost like a grayish color, you know what I mean? But as soon as you come through the front door, you pour into this living room. Really nice, another great Palm Harbor home. You got the tape and textured walls everywhere, which is always super nice. Great big living room space. This is fun. It's almost like a little wash tub that they've turned into a coffee table and then you can put some storage in it. That's neat. You've got a little entertainment center over here. Got a little spot to put the TV, maybe, if you wanted to. TV nowadays, I, literally the only thing we watch, you know what I mean, is I, I watch YouTube, you know, got to see what all the competition's doing. And just because there's so many things that I'm interested in that are available on YouTube that I just enjoy watching, you know what I mean? It's like, it's a place where my friends are. Like, that's how I view YouTube. But anyway, um, I don't want to, I don't want to get on too many tangents. I've Past couple of homes we've been really going on some. But dining room space, love the exposed beams here in the kitchen and dining room area. Great big island right here. You've got a little lip on this side. You put three, maybe three stools if you wanted to. And then on the far side, you've got plenty of cabinet space. I love the gray color. And then you got this like laminate butcher block pattern which looks really good. You've got the cage lights up here. Looks super sharp. And then along the back wall, you've got that L-shaped kitchen. We'll get to that in just a minute because this one, it has a pantry, which is very nice. Got some open shelves up above the refrigerator for some decorations, some nice upper cabinets, actual tile backsplash, love that. You got your stove and your stainless range hood. Just a really pretty kitchen, you know what I mean? I haven't seen any Lazy Susans in any of these Palm Harbors though. I like this little shelf too. I am a big fan, mostly because I love the industrial style uh, decor, you know what I mean? And modern farmhouse and industrial decor kind of go hand in hand. They're very similar, you know what I mean? But a uh, great big window up above this stainless sink. You got your dishwasher and then another cabinet over here. And then just off of the dining room area, you've got a barn door that leads into your laundry room slash mud room. So you got washer dryer hookups, nice big shelf, kind of rustic looking with this. It's like they ran the floor up the wall, you know what I mean? Then you've got your back door, electric panel, all that fun stuff. 
Yeah, I've noticed the, the past couple of tours we've been doing, uh, it's more talky <laughs> than walky, I guess. But uh, coming down the hallway towards the secondary bedrooms, you've got the furnace. And that is right next to the first of the two bedrooms. This one sits up towards the front of the home. Nice big size. Got a big old window. It's plenty of space. Now, now back here they've got the strips, but I'm sure that's something that uh, if you just wanted tape and texture, you could definitely do that. Just kinda, it is a model home, you know what I mean? So they can show all the different things that are available in these homes. And let me break out my handy dandy flashlight. This home doesn't have the electricity turned on, but still worth the tour, you know what I mean? Nice single vanity right here, the toilet, and then the shower and tub combo. Then at the end of the hall, you've got some more decorative shelves. And then around the corner, this is a fun little layout. This is the second of the two bedrooms. This sits at the far end of the home, kind of on the back side. And then into its closet, it's got a really nice big closet. Kind of wraps around a little bit. Very nice. Then on the opposite side of the home, just off of the living room, sits the master suite, which I don't need a fly, I already walked in here. No flashlight needed. Tons of windows, tons of light. Nice big room. Cool little accent wall along the back. Just keeping with that kind of rustic theme throughout this entire home. And then from there you come into the ensuite, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. Again, you got the caged vanity lights, double vanity. I love the shelves. I'm glad they kept that throughout the home, you know what I mean? Got a full length mirror, little bench over here, nice big soaking tub. Got two big old windows. There's a lot, there's a shower in here too, but we're just gonna kind of wrap around a little bit. You got the water closet. walk-in closet. That one goes way back there. Some linen cabinets. And then just opposite the vanity, you've got the standalone shower. It's got little footrests or benches on either side. And then you got your shower head. All right, that was easy peasy. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. If you do want any more information on this model that we just toured, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your state, your area. You can filter based off of price, square footage, number of bedrooms, layout. Uh, and if you like these modern farmhouse style homes, because we just actually got done touring another one as well, you just put in a modern farmhouse, whether that's a modular home or a site-built home or a manufactured home, there's like little tabs, you'll find it. It's fun, go hang out, enjoy yourselves. And uh, as always, my name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.